The Love Boat Goes on a Cruise Missile Cruise will not be shown at this time. In its place, we present the following bomb. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, come on, you guys. Why do you always have to play war games? Well, because we don't know any peace games. Well, wait a minute now. Why don't you pretend you're at a peace conference and you can sit around the table? Hey, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this will be a peace table. Okay. And I'll sit right here at the head of the table. No, you won't. I will. I do. That's my organization. It's like a war. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yes. Hold it. Come on. I thought this was supposed to be a peace conference. Well, Dad, this is exactly like the peace conference we saw on TV. Two guys fighting over where to sit. And the toughest guy won, so I'm the toughest guy, so I get tired. I'm the toughest guy. Oh, yeah? Oh, look, I do this. Right now, huh? Oh, yeah? Listen up, man. Yeah. Come on, right now. Oh, goodness. Here anyway. Well, well, this has gone to the 14th board on Global War. Global War? 14th board? Nobody ever got past 10 before. But we got to stop her before it's too late. Well, why? What happens anyway? Disaster. 250 free games. We've got to stop her before it's too late. Boy, I'm telling you, these games are getting too realistic, if you ask me. Nice for us. Hi. As you may have already guessed, the theme of today's show is a pretty serious one. We're going to talk about war. Uh, Christine, do you think there'll ever be a third world war? <laughs> well, maybe, but there sure won't be a fourth one. <laughs> Why not? Because there'd be nobody left to fight it. Ross, have you been drafted or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? This is my old war uniform. Isn't it just a little too small, Ross? <laughs> oh. It's true. Isn't it funny how old army uniforms seem to shrink around the gut and nowhere else? <laughs> Very funny. I am wearing my old army uniform as a protest. I knew that you kids, you bleeding heart liberals, would do nothing but complain about wars for the whole program. Oh, well, so are, are you advocating war, Ross? Well, war is necessary. Yeah, it's great for the economy. Yeah, and it keeps the population oh, down, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was your job in the war, Dad? In the war, Vanessa spotting and shooting down enemy aircraft. Boy, that sounds exciting. How many <laughs> did you shoot down? A hundred? Oh, uh, no, not exactly. Fifty? Uh, well, uh, not quite. Twenty. Uh, Vanessa, I only shot down five. Five enemy planes? That's not that bad. Well, wait a minute now. It wasn't exactly enemy planes. No, dear. You see, your father was stationed in Kansas. But come on now, Val. It wasn't my fault. you seen one plane, you've seen them all. And those crop dusters had no sense of humor whatsoever. Adam, as your guidance counselor, I really must object strenuously to this desire of yours to join the army. Besides, you're too young. But I want to kill. What a kill. Yeah, I want to maim. I love the sight of blood. Big on blood, eh? Yeah, I want to fight. I want to kick and punch and gouge and choke. Okay, wait a minute. No, hold it. I think I get the picture. Now, look, you can't join the army for a few years, but I think I have something just as good. An opportunity to try out... With the school hockey team. All right. <laughs> yes. Adam, I think you've got a big future in that game. <laughs> it was horrible. Everybody was in tears. People were attacking each other from every side, and there was hand to hand combat. Wait a minute. And the fatalities were horrendous. Oh, boy. War must have been an awful thing. 
Oh, <laughs> no, Vanessa, he's not talking about war. He was trying to get some concert tickets to the Michael Jackson concert for his <laughs> And it happened. Good news, Alistair. You're getting out of here. All right, these guys, Barbie Burgers, girls. <laughs> Wait a minute. How come I'm getting out anyway? They're having war games out back. Oh, war games and war games. Mm -hmm. So what will I be doing? You'll be helping with the target practice. Here, put this on. <laughs> you were a cook in the war bar? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you see, uh, I spent so much time on uh, KP that it just seemed natural that I would... Uh, KP? Of... Oh, uh, kitchen patrol. You see... Vanessa, if you did something wrong in the army, they made you go on uh, KP. You wouldn't believe the number of potatoes that I peeled. Oh, so you were with the mash unit. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> mash potatoes? Get it? No, Adam, well, let's talk about war. I mean, we should really do something about it. Well, like what? Oh, well, I don't know. Start a peace movement. And stage rallies. And show the politicians that we've had enough. Hey, that sounds great. Oh. Well, yeah, we'll need a name or a slogan or something. Yeah, yeah. How about, uh, uh, war is insane, make peace. War is insane, make peace. It's great. It's just a bit long, though. Well, all we do is take the first letter of each word. Uh, war is insane, make peace, W-I-M-P. Let's suppose whip. <laughs> what are you calling it yeah, whip? Wait, wait, let's not fight now. There's a peace movement, remember? Oh, yeah. You're going to have to switch channels. I want to watch my program. What, Dad? We're watching this great war movie. War? Well, no, wait a minute. The show I want to see has a kind of a war theme. Thirteen, bunch of... Uh, that's it. There. Take it out of here. It's got to do with war. Well, you got to admit that they can certainly help with the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> and Adam, you got to admit that they're a couple of bombshells. <laughs> hey, Claude, can you imagine being in the war and driving a jeep? Yeah. Or maybe a tank. Bombs exploding all around you. Get off it. That's nothing to what I have to go through every day. What do you mean, Snake Eyes? Just wait until you kids have to drive on the freeway during the rush hour. <laughs> Get out of my way, you road home! Okay, you got that, Adam? Yeah. Okay, Vanessa, you go to the cafeteria. Right. And Claude, you got the makeup room. Check. All right, guys. W-I-M-P lives! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Alistair, you know, you kids are terribly naive. War is inevitable. Well, you can't try for peace, Ross. That is a waste of time. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. It's human nature to fight. Oh, how can you say that, Ross? You are a wimp. <laughs> what? I said you are a wimp, and all the rest of that bunch are wimps. <laughs> oh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to provoke me, but it won't work, Ross. You're a wimp, and you're short. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work, Ross. Forget it. You're short. You're a wimp. And you got the brains of a dead elm. Take that back, Ross, right now. I will not take it back. You're short and you're a wimp. And not only that, your mother dresses you funny. Now that's it. Oh, oh, tick, 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 tick. Ross, look I rest my case. Hello. <laughs> you know what this talk about arms go up in the door? Yep. You know what you should do? Instead of using all these missiles and stuff, they should get their best video players, the gay stars. It would be great fun and, and nobody would get hurt. Fantastic idea. What do you think, Blip? 
I like it on uh, one condition. What's that? That the Russians bring lots of quarters. You see, these machines don't take rubles. <laughs> Alistair, not that stupid computer again. Kate Adams, uh, don't worry. This time I've got everything figured out. Trust me. You better have. There, that should do it. Peace has broken out again in the Middle East. Renewed <laughs> friendship in Central America and wholesale goodwill and niceness has erupted in Africa. Oh, I, I get it. It's the opposite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 44 Magnum. That's what I always wanted. And dumb, dumb bullets, too. Oh, wow. I got your favorite kind, Vanessa. This is just a silver birthday. Mm -hmm. And now, honey, it's time to blow up the cake. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. First, you gotta make a wish. <laughs> Targeting computer on. Targeting computer on. Range 1,500 meters. Range 1,500 meters. Two degrees to the left. Two degrees to the left. And fire. Fire. Right now, for science class today, we are going to build a thermonuclear device. Oh, uh, sir. Uh, excuse me? Yes? Um, what are we going to do with a thermonuclear device? Blow up the school, of course. We don't War in the Philippines, massacre in Lebanon, bloodshed in Nicaragua. Film at 11. Well, back to reality. <laughs> Alistair, fighting in class again? I was only fooling around, sir. Doesn't matter, the fact remains you were fighting. If you want to fight so badly, why don't you join the army? Hey, that's a great idea. Guns, medals, glory. Can the girls love a guy in uniform? Right on. Thank you, sir. I think I'll go on the list right now. That yeah. is the spirit. Up, two, three, four. <laughs> Sometimes it's so easy. I'm ashamed of myself. Uh, what? Uh, sir? Hey, Barth. Uh-huh. What did you do in the Army, anyway? What did I do in the Army? That's where I learned to cook. You learned how to cook? I'm in Japan. Very funny. I'll have you know that I cook for an entire regiment. Uh, yeah, right. What do they do? Get the Air Force to airlift the alka <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and laugh. But I'm just telling you that I did my bit for the Army. Well, I bet Barth can still help out the army. Oh, wow. Well, he just has to let them into the kitchen and browse around a bit, and they can learn a lot about germ warfare. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, oh Ross, you're not going to start calling me names again, are you? No, no. But let me put it this way, Alistair. Let's assume that the enemy soldiers have invaded your house, and they are going to do something terrible to your mother. Now, you got a gun. What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I will remain calm. I am a man of peace. <laughs> okay, you lay me down beside still waters, and it's just fun. <laughs> Had enough yet? Ross, you cannot possibly do anything to make me fight. No. <laughs> I'm 
believe that we have some definite army material right here. Stay tuned. We won't be gone long. You're headed straight for more Nick. Alistair, are you watching another one of those violent war movies again? Well, Mom, I... How many times have I told you I do not want you watching violence on television? <gasps> Besides, there's too much violence on television. I know, Mom, but you're being violent and we're on television. <laughs> oh, hello. All right, men. Now listen to me. We gotta hit their weak spots. We gotta invade enemy territory. Hit them hard, and then we gotta blitz. We gotta rush, and we gotta work hard in the trenches. Then we hit them with the bomb. We gotta kill, kill, kill. <laughs> Football game or a war? Well, to him, a war. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, guys, but the WIMP movement is everywhere now. Everyone's following yeah, us. We're on the streets. Hi, wimps. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Ross, but the WIMP movement is growing strong every day. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I can't true. believe you kids. War isn't nearly as bad as you make it out to be, you know. Have you ever seen any John Wayne or uh, Audie Murphy movies? <laughs> Ross, future wars aren't going to be fought like that. They're going to be fought by scientists and engineers uh, using high-tech weaponry, lasers, high-tech computers, and space stations. Wait a minute. You mean no more flamethrowers? No more <laughs> hand grenades? I'm sorry, Ross. And no more <laughs> bayonets? Afraid not, Ross. <laughs> They're taking the fun out of everything. Hey, Alistair. Yeah, Vanessa? What did your dad do in the Second World War? Cry. Cry? What, was he a coward or something? No, he was a baby. The Second World War was a long time ago, you know. <laughs> hey, Christine. Yeah, Adam. My father cried during the Vietnam War. Well, all of us cried during the Vietnam War. No, he really cried like a baby. Adam, there is no way your dad could have been a baby in the Vietnam War. That would make him younger than you. Well, who said anything about being a baby? No, he cried because he was on kitchen patrol peeling the onions. Hey, Alistair. Yeah, Chloe? My dad's trying to stop the draft. <laughs> I've got some news for you, Chloe. The draft has been stopped for years. Not around my house. He's already used five miles of weather stripping around the windows. Should have known. And this is August. It's much, much worse in wintertime. Yeah, Vanessa. You know, in the old days, they used to start war in March, and that's why they called March March, because all the armies marched out to war. Oh, well, that must also be the origin of April Fool's Day. What are you talking about? Well, come April, all the armies would realize what fools they'd made of themselves. You know, I think these locker jokes are getting worse and worse every show. Ready? Hey, but who are you? Hey, kid, what are you laughing at? You. I can't believe that a great capitano like you has been reduced to this. I mean, you're <laughs> pathetic. What do you mean? Well, you should be on the battlefield. I mean, what glory is there in this Mickey Mouse job? Well, in peacetime, you take whatever job you can get. Peacetime? Uh -huh. There are dozens of wars going on all over the world, and they all need experienced soldiers like you to lead them in onward and upward to glory. Onward and upward to glory. You're right. All right, man. Amigos, <laughs> You're back. Yeah. I just remembered something. What? Well, listen, in war, they shoot back, don't they? <laughs> oh, well, I like it right here. <laughs> Ready? Aim! <laughs> Okay. Well, well, well. What are you little wimps doing now? That's W-I-M-P, Ross, and we're getting ready for a peace rally. We're marching on City Hall today. What? Who 
politicians are not going to listen to a bunch of kids. Tell you what I'll do, Alistair. I'll bring down my bazooka. <laughs> we fire a couple of warning shots over their heads. That it would get their attention. And then... Ross, it's a peace rally, remember? Peace, get it? Okay, okay. But my way would get results. Ross! <laughs> we look ridiculous. We have our orders, Adam. <laughs> Are you sure this is what they mean by guerrilla warfare? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, here. Have a banana. I hate bananas. Uh, yeah, so... I, uh... Hmm? Oh, I have a story, Christina. That must be yours. Oh, yeah, here we are. Hey, hey, Burr. Do you mm -hmm. think people should stand up for and what they believe? Hmm. Uh, I guess so. Well, even if it means going to war over some issue, they just can't stomach anymore. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Well, Burr, we can't stomach your food anymore. So we're going to war. <laughs> Inspection time. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for escape tunnels. Three attempted escapes last night, all of which were foiled, by the way. Oh, what are you going to do with them? Fear them to the wild dogs? <laughs> to make them play Red Rover in the mine field? Oh, they should be so lucky. <laughs> well, what's going to happen to them? They were warned about escape attempts. You don't mean... <laughs> it's inhuman. Inhuman or not... They are going to be taken outside 5 a.m. tomorrow morning and made to skinny dip in that ice-cold lake. Oh, Alistair, come here. You're going to have to help me with this. What is it, anyway? Oh, I got the most terrific deal from a guy on the street. This is a bomb shelter and in the car... <laughs> For years' supply of food. When the war breaks out, we'll be ready. My Dad, didn't you hear the great news? What? The Russians and the Americans have agreed to disarm. No more nuclear weapons. We sure won't be needing this bomb shelter anymore. Uh, Alistair, I hope that you like cream spinach. We're going to be eating for four years. Whoever said peace was bliss? <laughs> you just have to understand about... everything about this oh, subject. Oh, right. It's cold. Yeah, exactly. So that whatever you don't know what else to say. Question. Oh, yeah. Wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What happened to you kids? What Mother happened? Peace Group kept on making fun oh, of her names. We got into a big fight. At a peace rally? <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is all your fault, you know, Alistair. Oh, oh my oh. fault? <laughs> yeah, the Whip Movement. What a stupid name. It got us into all this trouble. Well, if you didn't like the name, why did you say so before? Pea brain? Don't call me pea brain, gopher breath. Gopher breath? Well, listen here, airhead. I don't have to take this from you, you know. Okay, pass face. Oh, war was, was never as vicious oh, as the war. Oh, you don't think this is maybe a Well, now you're getting Now, stay tuned to put your video game skills to the test on the next level, the next level of game show, Nick Arcade, next. You Can't Do That on Television has been a successful invasion of privacy. Too bad they didn't do better in the ratings war. Oops.